High Altitude Platform Station is, according to Article 1.66a of the International Telecommunication Union SITU Radio Regulations, defined as a station on an object at an altitude of 20 to 50 kilometers and at a specified nominal fixed point relative to the Earth, each station shall be classified by the service in which it operates permanently or temporarily. See also limitation due to power. A HAP can be a manned or unmanned aeroplane, balloon, or an airship. All require electrical power to keep themselves and the payload functional. While current HAPs are powered by batteries or engines, mission time is limited by the need for recharging, refueling. Therefore, alternative means are being considered for the future. Solar energy is one of best options currently being used for under trial HAPs. Laser propulsion might be useful as an additional ground-based power source. Altitude selection for HAPs. Whether an airship or an aeroplane, a major challenge is the ability of the HAP to maintain station keeping in the face of winds. An operating altitude of between 17 and 22 kilometers is chosen because in most regions of the world this represents a layer of relatively mild wind and turbulence. Although the wind profile may vary considerably with latitude and with season, a form similar to that shown will usually obtain. This altitude is also above commercial air traffic heights, which would otherwise prove a potentially prohibitive constraint. Comparison to satellites Since HAPs operate at much lower altitudes than satellites, it is possible to cover a small region much more effectively. Lower altitude also means much lower link budget and smaller round-trip delay compared to satellites. Furthermore, deploying a satellite drains significant time and monetary resources, in terms of development and launch. HAPs, on the other hand, do not cost much and are rapidly deployable. Another major difference is that a satellite, once launched, does not allow for full maintenance, while HAPs do. Applications for high-speed radio communication service One of latest uses of HAPS has been for radio communication service. Research on HAPS is being actively carried largely in Europe, where scientists are considering them as a platform to deliver high-speed connectivity to users over areas of up to 400 kilometers. It has gained significant interest because HAPS will be able to deliver bandwidth and capacity similar to a broadband wireless access network while providing a coverage area similar to that of a satellite. For surveillance and intelligence gathering one of the best examples of a high-altitude platform used for surveillance and security is Northrop. Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk UAV used by the U.S. Air Force. It has a service ceiling of 20 kilometers and can stay in the air for continuous 36 hours. It carries a highly sophisticated sensor system, including radar, optical, and infrared images. It is powered by a turbofan engine and is able to deliver digital sensor data in real time to a ground station. For real-time monitoring of a region another future use which is currently being investigated is monitoring of a particular area or region for activities such as flood detection, seismic monitoring, remote sensing and disaster management. For weather, environmental monitoring and studying perhaps the most common use of high-altitude platforms is for environment weather monitoring. Numerous experiments are conducted through high-altitude balloons mounted with scientific equipment, which is used to measure environmental changes or to keep track of weather. Recently, NASA in partnership with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has started using Global Hawk UAV to study Earth's atmosphere. As a spaceport due to the height more than 90% of atmospheric matter is below the HAP. This reduces atmospheric drag for starting rockets. As a rough estimate, a rocket that reaches an altitude of 20 km when launched from the ground will reach 100 km if launched at an altitude of 20 km from a balloon. It also allows the usage of mass drivers for launching goods or humans into orbits. 
High Altitude Airship The United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency contracted Lockheed Martin to construct a high-altitude airship to enhance its ballistic missile defense system. An unmanned lighter-than-air vehicle, the HA, is intended to operate above the jet stream in a quasi-geostationary position to deliver persistent orbital station keeping as a surveillance aircraft platform, telecommunications relay, or a weather observer. They proposed to launch their HA in 2008. The airship would be in the air for up to one month at a time and was intended to survey a 600-mile diameter of land. It will use solar cells to provide its power and would be unmanned during its flight. It is designed to be 500 feet long and 150 feet in diameter. To minimize weight it is to be composed of high-strength fabrics and use lightweight propulsion technologies. The HA is intended to operate at a height of above 60,000 feet and to have a payload for military use. Lockheed Martin and the U.S. Army launched the Hale D subscale demonstrator on July 27, 2011, demonstrating key technologies critical to the development of unmanned airships. The airship was supposed to reach an altitude of 60,000 feet, but a problem occurred at 32,000 feet. It descended and landed without damage. High-altitude airships can improve the military's ability to communicate in remote areas such as those in Afghanistan, where mountainous terrain frequently interferes with communications signals. Stratospheric Airship A stratospheric airship is a powered airship designed to fly at very high altitudes. Most designs are remote-operated aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles. To date none of these designs have received approval from the FAA to fly in U.S. airspace. Stratospheric airship efforts are being developed in at least five countries. The first stratospheric-powered airship flight took place in 1969 reaching 70,000 feet for two hours with a 5 pounds payload. On December 4, 2005 a team led by Southwest Research Institute sponsored by the Army Space and Missile Defense Command successfully demonstrated powered flight of the High Sentinel stratospheric airship at an altitude of 74,000 feet. Lockheed Martin has been contracted by the United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency to construct a high-altitude airship to enhance its ballistic missile defense system. Japan and South Korea are also planning to deploy HAAs. South Korea has been conducting flight tests for several years with a vehicle from Worldwide Eros.